My name is Adrian Toucher and I work for Jaguar Land Rover. I am group leader for sustainable aluminium strategies. Most of my job is ensuring that we're getting to the highest level of recycled content in our vehicles. Jaguar Land Rover have a long heritage of using aluminium. We're very experienced in using aluminium and it's a material that we've been using in our products from many decades ago right up to the current generation of vehicles. There are several long-term benefits with using aluminium. Firstly, the vehicle is more efficient in its operation due to being lighter, reducing emissions during its use. There's also an extended benefit that aluminium is very easily recycled, so when the vehicle does come to the end of its life, that aluminium can be brought back round for a second life. We're looking to increase the recycle content in all the materials, but one area of significant focus is the aluminium, and we're looking to source as much of the material from secondary recycle sources. This can include manufacturing scrap, it can include post-consumer secondary, so for example drinks cans, and in the future it could include end of life as well. So this is cars that reach the end of their life, separating the materials and bringing that material back in as a recycled source. We have a recycling closed loop with our manufacturing press shops and also with a number of our external press shops. So these press shops take sheet and they actually form, they stamp the metal to make the formed parts that go on to be assembled to make the body shape that you see. But in that process, scrap is generated and that scrap is very carefully segregated and separated into two grades of aluminium and also steel. And then the steel is recycled, but also the aluminium is taken in its segregated forms and put back into the, our supply chain to be remelted back into automotive sheet. Our segregated aluminium scrap goes back to Novellis. Novellis have a major recycling operation in Warrington where the aluminium is taken back and recycled. That's the ultimate target, to increase the level of recycling to as high as we can get it.